Crossing the road where traffic lights are not installed can be a difficult task. It is especially challenging for the blind and visually impaired, but also for many other people, young and old. We present a technological solution based on a low-cost device mounted near the crosswalk, monitoring the approaching traffic, and advising whether crossing the street is safe or not. Our solution is based on image processing and analysis. The system consists of a camera and a processing unit, possibly in the form of an Android device. In practice, the device can be attached to a traffic sign or a lighting pole and powered using a small solar panel. The indication to the pedestrian can be auditory, visual, or tactile, and can be electronically delivered to the pedestrian's own mobile device. The stationary system concept allows learning of traffic patterns. First, the system creates a map of traffic flow. For one-way streets, this influx map is the temporal average of the optical flow field over a training period. The temporal averaging cancels random motion, such as leaves blowing in the wind, and emphasizes the risk-inducing motion patterns caused mainly by approaching vehicles. To achieve real-time operation, the system converts the video stream to a one-dimensional activity signal. The system computes the activity signal by projecting the optical flow field at each frame onto the influx map. Incoming vehicles give rise to high activity values, so the activity signal relates to the crossing risk. An approaching vehicle leads to a pulse in the activity signal. The pulses are detected by the system using a matched filter. The expected pulse template depends on local conditions and is automatically estimated during training. The matched filter correlates the real-time activity signal with the template and thresholds the correlation signal. The demonstration system was implemented on an Android KZoom smartphone, which has a zoom lens. Nevertheless, low-end, low-cost Android devices can be readily used instead. Handling two-way traffic requires two communicating devices, one for each traffic direction, with a unified crossing indication based on mutual agreement.